Hello guys, uh, for this new tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert the game module we make before into a plugin. So we can export this plugin, we can package this plugin. So I'm going to copy this game module here inside the plugin maker folder. I'm going to copy and return to my plugin exporter. So inside my plugin exporter, I want to work to with a plugin, not with the game module. So we're going to a plugin folder inside the CSW utilities, and this is of course the plugin we created before. So I'm going to source, and inside here, it should be our game module. So I'm going to paste paste the game module. For convert this game module to a plugin, we need to uncomment this code. But for now, I'm going to close this file. I'm going to return this to my plugin exporter. And I'm going to delete all the generated folders. And then I'm going to regenerate my project. So now let's open Visual Studio. And this project uh, now has the plugin, the game module as a plugin. So if we open the plugin, we can see that in source, uh, the plugin is there. So we need to edit these two files. So I'm going to edit the header file first. I'm going to uncomment the code, comment the code when we are developing this as a game module comment it and I'm going to uncomment the code for developing as a plugin I'm going to make the same thing with the source file comment it and then uncomment and finally I'm going to well, comment this and finally I'm going to compile the project. Save and compile. And if this succeeds, uh, this plug this game module now is working as a plugin. So yes. At this point uh, this uh, game module we did before is now a plugin. So if we open the project, I'm going to click yes wait and now let's create a new new actor I'm going to create to name it test and here I'm going to make sure that everything is working correct so yes it is working correctly and here I'm going to show the plugin content. You can see here that I'm going to tick show plugin content. So you can see now that there are two folders for the plugin. One is the C++ folder. So here is our blueprint uh, function. So inside this content we are going to create assets. You can uh, put uh, any asset here. So in this case I'm going to create a blueprint macro. So let's create a new uh, blueprint and it will be a blueprint macro library and the parent will be an actor. So click. I'm going to name this uh, CSW macro utility and I'm going to open this. I'm going to speed up the video here and what I'm doing here is in a sequence that works kind of like a for each for a race and I'm going to show you an example later as a reminder this plugin will be free for downloading the link will be in the description so
Now let's test these macros. So I'm going to write a sequence here, and you see that there is two. There are two sequences from input array. So what I'm going to do here is in begin play. I'm going to create a new array to test these uh, macros. You should test, by the way, all the functions uh, you create as a plugin. In this case, I'm not going to test the other functions because uh, they are already tested. I just copy and paste it from another pro another project. So I'm just going to test these macros for this video. The other functions from C++ are already working very nice. So in this case I'm going to create an array of uh, 12 values from 0 to 11. So I'm going to input here. And you see here that uh, if I want to print the first value I need to write the index 0. So it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. In this case if I, print, I want to print the first value I need of course to place this actor in the world so you see that it is printing 1 so it's printing 1 if I want to print for example 11 I need to change the index the prefix so if I click play it prints 11 and for example if I want to print, print 12 this array doesn't have 12 values so it will print nothing and the same thing with the second sequence but in this case it works from 5 to 9 so if I want to print the fifth value you see and it's working I'm going to change here the to pass by reference this array so it is not too slow it doesn't make a copy and I'm going to save, save my macros, and save my test. And for finishing, let's package this plugin. So we are going to a plugin folder, and you see that it created a content folder. And inside this folder is the macros. So this plugin now has the content and the source folder. So the plugin is completed now. I'm going to open the project and let's go to edit to plugins and I'm going to search the plugin I made I made so here you can edit this uh, plugin you can add your own picture your own information and in this case I'm just going to click OK and then I'm going to click package and search for a folder so in this case I will go to C to the tutorial workspace I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to name it uh, package plugin plugins and select this folder so now the plugin will start packaging and let's wait, it doesn't take too much time so the package is completed let's close this and this and let's go to our package plugins folder and you can see inside here that this is the plugin that is packaged so if you open this U plugin file you can see the information of this plugin this plugin is for the engine version 416 these are the modules of the plugins and this is the information of the plugin the version, the name, uh, etc. so in the next tutorial I'm going to test this plugin into in a blank project so for now I'm going to wrap up this video thanks for watching